last time on The Medium. I, I hate you. All of you. None of you know. None of you understand. I know. I understand. I can feel your pain. We can show them. We can make them understand. I don't need her. She took my mom away from me. I hate her. I wish she was dead. What about her? Leave her. Let her burn. What is up, Apex Nation, and welcome back to some more uh, The Medium. Hope you guys are having a great day. This has got to be the final episode, right? I'm imagining there can't be much left. But this is also where apparently Lily and Thomas, our sister and Faja, were chilling. So we gotta find out why. A thin line. Here's what I know. I think I know. The power, oh wait, crossed out as I know. The powers came from the same place, but they can manifest in different way. She seems to exist in both places, as if her mind can inhibit two bodies at the same time. To her, whatever happens in one place affects the other. Does she see the line between the two, or are they one and the same? New hypothesis. Death thins out the veil between worlds, so that a newborn mind never has to split. Makes sense. In some weird way. I am still lost on who is down here. Is it Lily down here? Hey, I'm not entirely sure. I know this one. Used to be one of my favorites. Because we saw that dream in the beginning where someone's killed a kid at the dock. And we now believe that, or I believe... Vitamins, antibiotics, neuroleptics, antidepressants. Even by my standards, that's a lot of pills. We believe that was Sadness, a.k.a. Lillian, and Thomas. So, he must have been down here with Marion. What am I doing? Trying to get this to have enough power? You got it. Ah. No, don't do this to me. Bring back power. I gotta go find a. Uh, what? I was expecting to solve a puzzle. I don't gotta solve a puzzle anymore. I gotta go hunting for a thing. Oh, this door's open now. And we also just burnt the maw again. Don't know if he's dead. I don't think he can die as long as Marianne's alive. Or as long as Sadness refuses to pass on, possibly. Dude, there's an axe. Get the axe. What's wrong with you? There's a whole lot of nothing so far. What Must the heck open. happened here? From the inside. Yeah. So, how? I like that. Oh, I just, yes. Yeah, but now there's no light in this room that I wanted to go check out. I guess this I'll look at it in the dark. Lily's place. Or yours. Where he kept her. I don't think it was Lily. I think it was you. Look at the butterflies. That's a cool one. Alone. Salt. Who knew it was that simple? A bit of alchemy. Some spiritual influ infusion. And there you have it. Looks like the folks here, the folk tales are true after all. Anyways, the room is ready. And it works. It actually works. For the first time in my life, I can feel alone. This feels wonderful. Hmm. What's with the Imagine adventure? being locked up in this place. Having a needle shoved into your arm day in, day out. You didn't deserve this, Lily. Again. I think it was you. And also sodium, like salt. They were ejecting salt into you to try the to. Salt. The whole room is lined with it. Push back the demons by injecting it in <sighs> you? She'd be a grown woman by now, but 
The room is still all dolls and unicorns. I haven't seen unicorns yet. Little windows into the world. It's something, I guess. Sunshine doesn't really translate to text, though. Well, if you're a blind person, then that's the only thing you have, Lillian, Marianne. <laughs> oh, close. Quite the selection. So she could doll herself up with no one to see her. Don't always have Maybe to have someone to see you. Maybe he meant well, but somehow this just feels sadistic. You can doll yourself up just to look nice yourself and make you feel better about yourself. You don't always have to have someone to ogle you, oogle you, google you, whatever you. Hmm. So something still busted its way out from the inside of that room. So the salt may not have worked? Also, the layout of this place is pretty confusing. All right, let's go restore power and play a puzzle. Okay, so what do we have here? Huh? Okay. Okay. Ooh, too much. Too much, too much. Ah, so close. No way to Oh, know. shit. Oh, come on. Too much power. I know. I had that. Under control. Nice decor. Very, uh, minimalist. Mm, yeah. Huh. Mold. It looks pretty fresh. Someone's been here recently. Well, that's curious. Hmm. If I find enough pieces, Are I you serious? might be able to get... Better Oops. get to it, Alice. I didn't mean to skip... But you're serious? I gotta go find glass pieces. It's quiet now. Just me and her. Just me and her. Feels strange, but in a good way. How it should be. I best enjoy it while it lasts. I already started moving the workshop over to the hotel. If anything happens, I don't want her to be anywhere near it. I'm going in soon to get him back. This only ends in one of two ways. Either both of us are coming back, or neither. Oh, so he went in to go get his other half. Where am I going to find glass pieces that I haven't already seen? Okay. Not one! Here's one. <laughs> so far, so good. I guess we weren't looking for them, so we don't know about them. One, two, three pieces. Two more pieces. Can I go in here? No. All right. Well then, run around this place that has no danger at all. And go look for more glass. Cause you know, yeah, that's what we gotta do. Uh, I didn't do this in this room. I guess it's all in Lily's room. Unless there's more doors open now. Oh, another door is open. Ah. There. Another one. Tell me about the bathroom. Ooh. Got a little music to keep us company. Very quiet, so I don't got to worry about any uh, copyright crap going on here.
I don't like the sound of that. Oh, it's nice. Looks like he could never quite let go of his passion. In another life, perhaps. She almost saw me today. Sense me. Should have known. I need to be more careful. Keep my distance. It just... I just... Not a day goes by that I don't think of her. I think I know. I did the right thing, leaving her at the hospital. It's better this way. She's better this way. But I keep thinking of that day when it finally happens, when she discovers where she really is. She'd be confused, afraid. I should be there for her. I should be there for her. To keep her, to help her make sense of all this. Yeah, you should. To tell her it's all right. No, she'll make it through. She's strong, just like her mother. Okay, so she left. He left Marianne at the hospital. But we saw those letters at the, ho at the hotel talking about, hey, keep this little girl safe. So was that... This really feels like end of the game type wrap up music. Interesting. The last goodbye funeral home, Jack Orkin. Don't. Oh. Well, there's Jack's connection. This should be enough. Let's there make goes. magic happen. <laughs> I'm like, uh, what's happening? Yeah, this really does. This was definitely Thomas's workspace. I can sense the determination. Whatever he was working on, he really I wanna look. all. Were you trying to send the monster away? Or to get your other self back? Other self back. So he's not... Obviously he's not dead. I mean, he wasn't like 90 when we were born. So he's still around here kicking somewhere, huh? Oh, I saw you. No, oh, I, I already looked at that. Okay. It really does feel like you're playing like a Metal Gear Solid. Where they always have like a song playing at that game. Big piece. Magical! Ooh, hi. And there it was. The moment we finally met. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Trapped. I, I, I spent years in Henry's fucked up world. Oh, yeah. Never. When you. You sent him away. I could. I could finally. break free. That's. Why you're so important. You can finish this. Where is he? Where is my father? I, I don't know. I... Um. For the first time in my life, I, I, I don't feel his presence. I, uh, 
I've been away for so long. Could you... Could you stay? For a moment? Tell me... Uh, how... I'm all this... started. <laughs> it all starts with a dead girl. Oh. about Lily did my father no he couldn't have he wouldn't he loved her too much both of you so what happened to her what is this place this is where he kept her. That cell back there. It only exists in one world. Keeps the other one out. He built it so that he could be alone. It was the only place he could feel. Separated from his powers. From me. Came in handy once Lily became unstable. Unstable? What do you mean? She's a medium too, Marianne. A powerful one. I guess it runs in the family. When Richard... When Richard hurt her... It awoke something inside her. Something... Something terrible. And it was only a matter of time before it got out. It's what your father feared. What he tried to avoid. That's why he called me. But that means... Yes. She's still alive. There's still a way to save her. You have to find her, Marianne. Where is she? Where is my sister? The dock. The lake. It's coming. Time for you to go. I'll hold it off for as long as I can. I'm not leaving you.
I'm sorry. Where are we? No, no, no. <sighs> Don't know how we got here. Fix the broken mirror. Now go to the dock. Go to the lake. Yeah. So... I was trying to piece that all together. It's like, how? Well, because we know after the fire, well, we know at the fire, when the fire happened, that's where that spiritual guy got trapped. So the whole thing with Lily and Richard happened before the fire so where was Mary and all that obviously they like to cut the girls out of it but never had Mary in in that at all they kind of really kept her quiet oh the music are we there it's gonna be very interesting meeting Lillian adult Lillian and how did her spiritual self become or stay as a child? God. This is it. Yeah, there we go. The Here's place the music. From my dream. I've walked this path a thousand times in my mind. I know every inch of it. But this time, something is different. I mean, if she's a powerful medium, she probably could do it. Apparently. And she also summoned up the mall. Well, the mall was born from her hatred and anger. And I guess sadness is another part of her. She locked away? Or is she really dead and dead? And she's a that powerful of a medium where she kept her presence in this world here. But I'm also was able close. to... I can feel it. I can feel it so clearly now. She was able to keep her spiritual self... And Niwa? To kind of help guide Marianne? But then what about Thomas? Is he alive? I mean, all he has to do is try to sell salt, apparently. That way, he couldn't connect with his other self anymore, and he could feel normal, so he might still be alive as well. I don't know. I guess we're about to find out. Hopefully we get some questions answered. For you, little sister. Lily, I... I didn't know. I couldn't remember, I'm so sorry. It's okay. But it was better that way. At least you had a life. A while. Lillian. That day. That 
day when the fire broke out at our house, I made a deal. The part of my soul that was tormented was set loose. You mean the monster? But why? To save you. It helped us escape the flames, but in return, I had to set it free. Free to devour. To destroy. To kill. An Eva massacre? Yes. All those people died so that we could live. And because I lived, so did my demons. Father knew my powers were too dangerous. He left you at the hospital so you could have a normal life. And what about you? Did he try to... No. Maybe he should have. But he couldn't bring himself to do it. Instead, he locked me away. But he only delayed the inevitable. Monster, he got out. And now you're here. You're the only one who can fix this. You. We both share our father's gifts. But also his fate. And the dream. The dream? All I see is a girl. You. Shot dead. Here, on this pier. Hasn't it already happened? No. It's not the past you see. The dream. It's what I want to happen. What? It all ends in me. But no, N no, you can't send a spirit away while the host is still alive. That's why you couldn't destroy the monster. That's why Sadness didn't want to go. But... You're my sister. That's why it has to be you. I... I'm not strong enough. It... it won't let me. Only you can end this. Only you can fix what our father could not. Lillian, I can't. Please, don't make I'm me sorry. do this. It's the only way to destroy it. To prevent further bloodshed. Lily? <laughs> oh! Marianne? <gasps> What's going on? Oh, skin suit. Now too small. Constricting. Outgrown her. Don't need her. Suit. The light almost gone. Not dark yet, but it's getting there. You're wrong. There is another way. Marianne. No. What is she doing? It changes nothing. 
sniping! It's like you said. I'm your only chance. <laughs> Aren't I? You need me. A medium strong enough to sustain you. The others? They only lasted for so long before you broke them down. Marianne, please. I don't want Maybe this. Maybe it's not your choice. Maybe this is my story after all. No! Stop Don't it. do this! Please, sister. Send me free. No! Stay back. Stay back! It all has to be. It has to be you. It has to be you. He'll never stop killing you. You finish this. Only you can end this. You can't always save every uh, butterfly. Don't make me choose. Who? Who? I've done everything in the game. Give me a good ending. Who? It all starts with a dead girl. Which one? There's two. I know I finished the game. Go away. No. Who? How dare you? No, you better give me a C at the end. Oh, that was... Be a green screen. That was awesome. The whole, like, transition in and going back and forth between Spirit World and moving around and, it, oh, and the gun being there only in the mortal realm, not the Spirit realm. Oh, that was so awesomely done. I love that. I love this game. This game is so good. I wish I could play it on the highest graphical setting the game could possibly hope to achieve. But alas, I could not. But uh, holy crap. I have a general idea of the story now. Like that helped clear a lot up, of course. Which was all there. I just had to you know, piece it together and I took too many breaks from this game. And my brain forgot a lot, and I had to remember a lot, then I had to piece it all together, and storyline-wise, where it all plays. It took me a little bit, but I get it now. So good. Except for, where's the father? The father has never been shown dead. Ooh. We might get that here at the end. My controller is slipping out of my hand. Controller, go over here so you don't fall out of my hands. Or my lap. What? Troy Baker was the... Ma? I did not hear that at all. <laughs> I did not hear him inside the mall. Okay. That surprised the crap out of me. Man, so good. I will definitely come back to this game when I have a PC that can handle it at ultra high instinct. Graphic settings. <laughs> they say, Holy crap, keep it's so good. And these voices in my soul. I hope they make a second one. I really, really do hope they make a second one of this. That was incredible. That was so much fun. Such a cool story. Such cool visuals. Cool characters. Made you hate characters, made you care for characters, and everything a video game should make you do. Or any. Not any media, I guess. But video games, I mean, you can't like everybody. You gotta hate some people. You gotta bring that emotion out with the player. And that was so good. So good. The one I don't remember right now off the top of my head is the whole girl who was like oh everyone hated her right it was one girl they picked on at Niwa and then the boy one of the boys is nice to her and tried to stop him but they all called him names and all that for trying to side with her like what was with that girl I thought that girl was sadness was that girl not sadness 
That one I don't remember. I that one went over my head on who that was. Yeah, I have to replay it, re-see it, re-look at it all. So good. This goes up there as one of my favorite games I played. It goes up there on the favorite Let's Plays on the channel for sure. Which, if you go to the channel main page, you can see a list of all my favorite plays, my favorite Let's Plays that I've done. They're in no particular order. They're just my favorite ones I've ever done. Favorite games I've played. This is so good. I don't know what else to say. I might just disappear and let us have all these names to deserve their time on the screen. And I hope none of these songs are copywritten. I am enjoying this song that's going on right now. I know I've been talking over it the entire time, but it's only because I'm kind of worried about copyright, but I'm also not. Whatever happens, happens. Inspiration is oh, well, that's really cool. Give credit where credit's due. Oh, playtesters. I wish I was a playtester. Oh, that'd be so cool to playtest this game. So those forgotten dimension. <laughs> Think, listen, there's a lot of names we just mentioned. We may have forgot you. Man, so good. Great job. Round of applause. That was so amazing. Who shot her? Who got shot? How? No! But the medium is our biggest and most ambitious game that we've ever made so far. It's a close and personal project that has year that was years in the making. We poured our souls into it and made our great memories during the development. However, as great as it is to make games, we do what we love with one person in mind, and that's you. Your thoughts mean a lot to us, and they make us better developers. That's why we like to hear your impressions of the medium. I would love to review. You're gonna take me to a thing to review. I don't want to write a review on the Microsoft Store. I mean, it's a five star. Submit five star. I mean, why would I not? I know you guys can see that. Continue. Here we go. Give me it. Give me what I want. Who is dead? Also, very clever having that whole review thing before the final cutscene. I see you, game. I respect it. <gasps> the witch. Wait, we're in the spiritual world. Well, it's Thomas. So he's alive. Who's dead? <laughs> Continue. Who's dead? <laughs> Is there something? I mean, I imagine it's Lillian that's dead, not Marianne, but I don't know for sure anymore. I hear noises. Who? Da. I was really hoping there would be a, like an extra hidden scene or something. I don't know. But I like that. I like that whole ending scene there. Means there could be a second one. I hope so. This game is so good. I hope you guys enjoyed this series. I enjoyed the crap out of it. Man. It was so good. Thank you guys so much for watching. 
And if you did enjoy it, hit that thumbs up button to show your support. If you're new and you haven't subscribed for more content, feel free to share this video and comment down below. And until next time, I'm Apex Reaper. You all stay positive. Thanks for watching. Afraid of the dark? Are you scared?